In the movie A Knight's Tale, Jocelyn told William to do the unthinkable, to lose in his next Jocelyn match. William, who was the undefeated competitor, was struck again and again by his opponent until he was defeated. Even though he lost, he won the heart of Jocelyn. In Mark 15, Jesus uh, remain silent and do all the humiliation eventually done on the cross so that he won our heart over. Three things I've learned from Mark 15. First thing is silence of the lamb. The Jewish leader had no authority whatsoever to kill his own criminal. So he took Jesus to Pilate. Pilate was marveled because Jesus uh, did not answer anything except yes to he's the king of the Jews. Pilate did not understand, but Jesus was looking at the big picture. He wants to save us and died on our behalf. Second things I've learned is we are Barabbas. Barabbas was a notorious criminal, a terrorist. He's certain to die on the death row. But one day, with a turn of event, he was released free. He heard people chanting, crucified him, crucified him. He thought it's for him, but it's not. It's for the sinless man, Jesus. Jesus literally took his cross and punishment. And today, Jesus took our sins. So we are Barabbas. Third thing I've learned is Jesus was mocked and crucified. Jesus was flocked struck, sped on, humiliated with a crown of thorns on his head, and he was eventually died the most excruciating pain, dying on the cross like a criminal. It was exactly what Isaiah 53, 7, which says, He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to be slaughtered, and as a sheep before his shearer is silent. So he did not open his mouth. My application is, even though as Christians we are humiliated at times, but we're never spat on. As shocking as it seems, our King and Creator died for us on the cross as our substitute and our Savior. Jesus has won our hearts over so that we can be humble servant of Him. But not only that, we can actually boldly enter the form of grace of God and live like more than a conqueror today. We should be joyful, but humble at the same time. My prayer is, Lord, lead me to the cross where I'll lay my life down to you. Lead me to the cross so I can see you and appreciate your love each day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.